How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's people? It is the day of another day. Of another day that we call Sunday. And it would have been said, West Coast people, hope everybody's doing everything as far as being safe on this weekend, which is the last day of course. Sunday it is officially over for some. For some, it's just beginning because some people have different schedules and stuff. You know, as you know, I already know, yesterday was my birthday, so I went out and celebrated my birthday with my friend and, um, not my boyfriend, but my best friend, you know, and I always feel so like I said before, I did a video about the city girls like us, where we have an angel that walks with us, you know, we go through the high time, the hard times, and, you know, we lose our way sometimes, we always have that best friend or girlfriend, guy, whatever it used to be, that sticks with you through thick and thin, so I was with the person, and, you know, I, I don't know, in case you want to check it out, you go to on Instagram, you know, it's the same as this channel, Raven over, you know, I put it up there and everything. I kind of taped it because I don't want to do the video in reference to this friend because the camera acts so, the camera acts so funny and stuff, so, you know. So, here we go. I got ready because, you know, I have to leave out and stuff like that, so I have to get ready and stuff. And by me trying to get out of here, you know, on time and stuff, because the buses come a certain period of time, so I kind of check the schedule reference to the buses, you know, to make sure I get out there because I don't want to stand out there the bus up a long time. So I'm going to, um, this one's sure it is coming down. So I go and I, um, you know, check the schedule on stuff. I just want to make sure, you know, that, um, I get on a bus and, you know, I have to have a long period of time because I'm tall, you already know. And when I come across the street, I attract about a thousand attention, of course. My whole goal is to leave out the house and no one ever sees me. You know, that's my uber land and stuff. You know, just thinking that it may happen, but a lot of times it don't happen, so. So I come outside and everything, and I just put on all green. I, I was gonna wear something like something like this, but I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna wear this only because um, I was like, you're gonna get a lot of attention if you put on something like that. Now, so this is the thing. You may not know this, but I'm gonna share this with us. I don't know if I ever told you this before, but my pants cost a dollar. And I got up for the dollar store, the dollar shirt. So here it is. When I see something for a dollar, you know me. And some people say, I just get one. Honey, when it's a dollar, I'm gonna get a bunch of them. So. In case you'd be like, let me keep wearing them sweatpants and stuff. Because it was a dollar. And I got a bunch of them. And you're going to keep saying them. But anyway, so the thing about it was that I um, got, you know, went outside the door at the door. And I'm going to bust up in this pack with guys. I'm like, oh my God. Like, ugh, here we go. Now, this is the thing. I do the videos and stuff, you know, with these earrings and stuff like that. I do not wear earrings when I live at the house. I do not wear anything. My hair is braided because... I'm always, you know me, I'm, 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 I have trust issues, so I'm always thinking somebody's going to grab me and try to beat me up, and, you know, I, I always feel that my braids will um, kind of give me more of a strength look, <laughs> you know. Now, the thing about it is I'm always afraid that when I walk up my door that I'm going to be attacked, so this is so sad because I prepared for war when I got the door, and here it is, I'm going to send my birthday, my birthday, not birthday party, but... You know, going to celebrate my birthday, but I am alert because I don't know what's going to happen when I walk outside the door. So now I get to, I'll take the bus stop and stuff like that, and I'll cut, okay, let me see this. So I come across the street, I look across the street, there's all guys at the bus stop. So that dream of getting over there to this bus stop and no one sees me is officially impossible. So I get to the bus stop and someone walking over there, and, I'm, and, it, and of course, everybody stopped talking. Everybody's looking. They just stop. I, 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 and remind you, I'm seeing this happen before my eyes. So I'm going, you know, I'm like this. So, I'm going to over there to the bus stop, and I'm standing up to the bus stop, and, and, and you know, I'm standing up there and everything. And I get over there, and they're looking, so they got young guys and stuff. So I'm like, okay, here it comes. That's a dude, that's a man, that's a nigga. You know, I'm waiting for all that negative stuff to come out, but they didn't say anything. So I'm standing the bus stop and I'm standing there like this, and, you know, I'm standing there. I'm, 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 I know I shouldn't be like that, but I stay on alert. Mother stands up there waiting to pause. Because this position right here, they go, mm. But the thing about it is that, you know, I shouldn't be that way, but I'm, 
I'm that way. But anyway, so the thing about it is, um, I'm saying the bus stop and stuff, and you know, always for the looky loos that come, the looky loo one that come over and get a good look at you and see, you know, this bitch is tall. You know, and, and the thing about it is that uh, this one guy takes his little car and he comes over and goes, You're me. So he takes his little car and he goes, And so you know me, I'm like this. I'm looking at you. You know, and I think I have my shades on and stuff. But you know, it's just so sad that we have to live in this type of world like this. If you really think about it, here it is, I'm going to be celebrating my birthday. It's supposed to be a happy moment. You know, as far as that, you know, here it is, I'm being prepared for a war in case I'm about to be attacked on my day. Now, I got on the bus and everything. Um, the guy was a little upset. He said, hello, you need to spoke to me and someone at the own this bus stop. Of course it didn't speak back because I'm an ignorant bitch and I'm not going to speak back because I know you're trying to figure out what I am and you may, mm, it's that, mm, let me just say something to it. Maybe she'll say, I'm not saying nothing. But if you could catch, whatever you could pick up, I'm not even going to add to it. So this is the thing. So I get on the bus and stuff. So he, um, I sit down and stuff. And of course, the one of us had my hair braided. Of course, like I said before, I had it braided. It was all to the side, you know. And, so this guy looked at me, staring at me, staring at me. So another guy's looking at me, staring at me. And mother sitting up with my shades on like this. <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> because it's like, now they can't see me looking at the shades because I got my shades on. I, look, I wear my shades so you can't really see my eyes. So anyway. So the guy kept staring and staring and staring. He, he, the thing about staring that people don't realize, you have to look away at some point. They don't bother looking. away. They be like this. I'm like, oh my God, at least don't be so obvious about it. So one guy was in the back of the bus. He decided to come up and sit right here. So I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be one of those days. But you are not going to get the um pass as far as you know, walking through the world as, as being incognito, nobody's paying you to mind. Today, you, today the spotlight is on you. So I'm like, oh my God, this is not, this, this is the worst, this is going to be the worst birthday ever. <laughs> so I, he said if he stands around, and of course he does that, you know, and remind you, I'm watching, so he's going. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, here we go. So I'm still there, you know me. I'm still looking. And he looks back, and he turns back around, and then he goes. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, just please ignore me. Just trust me. I just want to get from point A to point B. Now, this is the thing. When you go away from New Jersey over to New York, it takes two hours. If I had a car, it would take me 20 minutes. Let me tell you something. When you watch it, take a bath with the kids me, and you get to New York, you are built your whole city. It's my, you might as well just went to the park and worked out. Your skin, everything, the flesh, like your um, sweat to come out your face and stuff like that. And I don't wear any makeup, but, you know, you're sweating because you're constantly walking. You're constantly walking. You're constantly walking. You know what's fine. And this is the thing. So I get over to New York and stuff, and I ran up with my friend that came, you know, celebrate my birthday. Love you, friend. Set me up and stuff like that because basically, you know, I wasn't going to celebrate it, but you managed to put me out the house to get me to celebrate my birthday. So you drink me. But, um... You know, and the thing about it was that I went away and stuff like that and had a good time and you know me, I'm, I'm penny pinching penny. So I'm like, okay, these prices, you know what's funny, because to be, to be an ex-bartender, you would think that Raven, you know that the prices um, of liquor is a certain amount, but it was like two drinks, $20. I was like, $20? $20, you know, that's a whole bottle of liquor. We could have just got a whole bottle of liquor just, you know. He was like, um, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, it's not that serious, it's her birthday, it's only once a year, it's not that serious. But you know, I'm penny pinching, I'm penny, penny pinching penny, because I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to spend any money that's unnecessary, especially when I know what the economy is right about now, and mother needs some coins. So anyway, so I'm sitting up there, and um... Raven, huh? come here sweetie, Raven, come here. What is you got a big ass lemonade? Come here! <laughs> so I'm and everything, and I'm like, okay, now we're gonna get to um, 
the certain, you know, certain areas of it that it goes out of one bar and stuff. Now, this is the thing which is really sad, but I'm going to share this with you. And I'm going to figure it away. I got on the pad train. I look out from the pad train from one spot to the next spot. I may offend people, but it's not my So I got on the pad train and stuff like that. So, you know, it goes to Turner Square to the next stop. So now I'm there with some of this girl staring at me and I'm looking at her. You know, remind you, I'm not dressed up like I'm just... When you're tall, you're already walking around with the... Excuse me, a light on you, basically. Because basically, you just want to be seen even though you don't. But it is what it is. And I always thought the little people probably get upset about that, too. They're like, wherever we go, we get stared at and people make them remarks. So, I understand it, you know. And that is the thing. Due to the fact that Donald Trump is in office, now you know I'm, I'm jaded as hell. There were, now this is the weirdest thing. Now I get along with everybody because you know my husband lived and I dated every race there is. And for some reason the ride felt different, you know. I saw my Caucasian brothers and sisters to get on a train. Actually I was sitting with a few of them. And I didn't feel that bad. But when a bunch more came on and I was like the only black person there, I felt uncomfortable. I felt, and it's sad because I've never ever felt this way because I'm, I'm, a lot of my friends are not black, you know, and I'm, I'm equal opportunity employed, clearly, but the thing about it was that I felt uncomfortable. And I want to share this with you. I really felt uncomfortable. I felt this though that somewhere along the line that there is a race war starting and I felt, and I felt this could go really, really wrong, really fast. Now this is the thing. People who know me, like the ones who are probably on this page, you already know I'm not like that as far as being a racist or whatever kids me because I know those who like to throw the racist word around and that's not me, but it just it's just due to the fact that Donald Trump is in office and, you know, all this hate that he keep um pushing out as reference to a lot of different things as far as the world. You know, and and there are gonna be people that's gonna disagree with it and there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna agree. Now, any other time I go any place, I'm always like the minority versus the majority and stuff. And the thing is, you know, I, I felt like it was so many Caucasian people that got on the, white people got on the um, train. I was about to get up and go to somewhere else. You know, and I guess that's how I was wondering. I wanted it, um, white people felt that way when Obama's in office, like, oh my God, he's in office. They got, they're all out of control now. I need to get up and move away because he's in there, you know. Because I always try to look at things from both perspectives, you know, you know what I mean? So the thing about it was that, but I don't remember Obama saying anything as far as the things that Donald Trump says. You know, Donald Trump is basically just really ruthless and, you know, um, it's just so negative. And I got it on the, um, when I was on a, the train and stuff, I felt like they stared at me. Everybody did, so it wasn't like, you know, they they looked at me, you know, and they, their whole demeanor with each other versus who I wish around black people, their demeanor with each other is a lot more different than it is for black people. And what I'm saying is that means that with two gay guys, two gay guys, two guys that are white, they can sit they can play with each other, do things that are like, you know, suspect as far as, you know, seem a little gay to us but to them it's not but to us we do certain things that seem a little certain way it's gay and just you get attacked it seems like they're much more free spirit than black people are and I noticed that now as far as acting crazy that has nothing to do with a race because any race can act a fool but it's just that you know I felt uncomfortable when I was sitting here and it was so many to remind you I was sitting across from two girls that was white. I was sitting next to two girls that was white. Four guys got on the air, and I felt uneasy. Now, even though it was with the white girls that was sitting next to me, so I had a problem with that. When the four white guys got on the air, I kept thinking, you got to get up and leave. You know, and I think that probably, you know, probably white people feel that same with the four, like, four black guys because they're like the white, you know. I hate this. I swear I hate it. You know, because this is the thing. We have to learn to embrace everybody's differences. We have to learn to love each other for who they are. We, I'm not saying saying kumbaya, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And I'm going to share something else with you. I never said this before. Remember I was dating the white guy with the black boys? I'm going to be honest. 
I was afraid for him being around me. I felt like I was going to get him in a situation for him just being white. You know, maybe I just worried too much, but I just felt that way. Now, one guy I know who was on this page, I don't know if he's going to see this video, but he actually took me out on a date, and he's white. And me and him got so much attention, but the thing is, a black guy walked over and he spit on the ground right in front of us. Now, me and my survivor here, no mom, but him, he caught it. He said, you see what this is sick? Now, see, me, I just saw spit on the ground. But to him, it was racist, you know. See, I didn't catch that, but, you know, I don't look for stuff like that because that's not where I'm at in my life. I don't do those things. It's just not me. I see people, I have fun. It doesn't matter what race I've been around. Everybody, I slept with many, and many of rejected me, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And, you know, it just, I felt uncomfortable. And I just wanted to ask you that question, and, you know, just went over to the left. This is not, this is not my birthday. But this is stuff, something I thought I would bring it up and stuff. Have you ever gotten on a train or a bus, in case it be, and you was like the only race that was there, and you felt uncomfortable? that you feel like you needed to get off. I want to ask you that question because I really felt, I, I felt like something was going to jump off. I was nervous. I was scared. I was like, okay, it's four of them. And then the girls jump in. You got like seven on you. They're going to be beating your ass because at this day, but you just going to run and call it an L, you know, just run, you know. L me lost. But the thing is, I just wanted to share this thing with you. So this is supposed to be a video of my birthday. But anyway. So anyway, I went out and stuff like that. I had a great time and stuff like that. I hung with my friend. Um, I heard got my back, butt back home and stuff. I met another couple of guys and stuff. Like I always do, hustlers trying to do their thing. You know, mommy, can I take you home? I'm like, no, I'm good. You know, because at the end of the day, it is what it is. I don't know what you're trying to do. You want to go home and take and go to mother's pocket with still some shit. You know, maybe he wasn't even like that. But, you know, due to the fact I've done so many of these videos and stuff, and I've seen the world at a whole different other like than I used to. Hell, I used to always love gay people, be around gay people, so I found that they was one out of this. You know, the trans women, and get us killed and stuff, and then sit back and don't say nothing, not saying all gay people, because I hang around like gay people. And when I say this, I do not mean all white people, I do not mean all black people, I don't mean all Indians, for reasons, hate you, whatever case may be. But somebody could say, oh, you mean, I didn't say that, I don't do that. It's not an every race type of thing, it's not an every gay person. Anyway. I just wanted to share this there with you and I got my bag back home before 12 o'clock. I was in the house. I think I got by 12, 12 or 1 o'clock. I got my butt home about 1 o'clock. I was home in the bed sleeping because, uh-uh. I, I just couldn't do it. Like, I don't I don't have fun no more. And the village has changed so much. Yeah, what's the village? The village has changed so much. It's not fun out there anymore and stuff. And, you know, they done made so many rules that, you know, it's no fun. It's just there. Anyway. I just want to get out of my bed and share this with you because I didn't press my hair. I was not going to do that because it is what it is at the end of the day. But I want to ask you that question because I felt really uneasy and it bothered me and I don't like feeling that way. Because I have no problem with anybody. I really don't care. I'm not a single cool my y'all, but you know, it's what it is. Anyway, I would love to hear your comments about this. Have you ever felt uneasy when a whole bunch of other races came inside of the spot and you were there by yourself singled out? Did you feel safe or do you feel like you need to sleep? Anyway. I want to let you know that I love you and I want to thank you for watching Kids the Rain.